highly anticipated football match has just wrapped up in Wembley Stadium and London is finally coming down from the excitement. Passionate fans are gathered to take the trains home but there aren't enough trains for all the fans. Assemble a surface in the depot then hurry to Wembley Central to get everyone home. You'd thought they'd put a voice on for that. Hello buddy and welcome to another Train Sim World 5 video. We're back on the West Coast Main Line South. Oh, just West Coast Main Line really because there isn't a North on this one. On Train Sim World 5. We've got to get all the way down there, so we're going to run. Um, we're doing a scenario, it's only a 30 minute scenario. Can't even get over that. How can we get over there? Is that able to go all the way up there? And then all the way back down the gas, ridiculous. So a 30 minute scenario. There's a free some three seven sevens stabled over there. Don't expect to see them still. Oh look, there's a three fifty gun along there as well. in the train. It's really bad that this route only done scenarios for the 350s on this route. Of course you get the 390s with the Pendolino if you get that DLC. If you don't get that DLC you've only got scenarios from the 350. They didn't put any 377 scenarios in which is I think a bit Silly. I think they should have put at least one or two scenarios for the 377. Oh. Press the wrong button there. Press E instead of Q. Uh, that's straight off to Wembley Central. Let's sort the lights out first. I'll find out where the lights are. Oh, they're down here, aren't they? Daylight. Five miles per hour coming out of it. Of course, it's not part of the timetable, so there is no uh, time journey. I don't know if this is something that would happen in real life, but I don't think scenarios are prototypical. I think they're just scenarios that DDG make up, which is good because it gives us something different to timetable. If you want prototypical run-ins and that, you, you use timetable of course. So it's a summer day. That's March. 
Oh, tint it's hot. We'll open a window. I mean, they could have had a scenario for a 377 coming out the coming out this yard, couldn't they? And starting a service from up here. And they could have had um, a service for the DC line as well. I don't know if we're going to be going back, joining up to another co set of coaches. I think there's only four coaches on this one. Yeah, to 10 miles per hour now. When we do the 377, the 710 and the London un Underground, we'll have to do it on the um, timetable mode. So this is 350 going past there. It's two 350s we've seen now, no Pendolinos yet. All 377s going past. Cab light, but okay. I think we'd have. To, I think the lights come on automatically, don't they? On these ones, we'd have to put the red light on. It's quite nice along this train. I've actually been on these trains. Quite nice. A bit too clean, though. I don't think it's this clean the train I was on. <laughs> Shame that mods don't work in scenarios. We see some of the, um, well, not mods, but uh, community creation stuff. I hate that there's no posters on here. Yeah, because there's no timetable, you can just take your time because you're not going to be late. So we've only got four, oh, we're going to attach to another set of vehicles, so I guess we've only got four at the moment.
So you can't get to 10 miles per hour. This time, instead of keep accelerating, we've got to keep braking because we was on a 0.3 going up gradient. We're on a 0.3 going down now. So just got to keep an eye on our speed and keep braking. Really frustrating this, getting this slow <laughs> through the yards. I know it's all to do with safety and that. At least the 15's coming up soon. Not that I think we'll be able to go up to 15 because that's our train there. to the 377 see it would be more interesting if they actually used the 377 for this scenario you know there aren't enough trains so they've roped in a southern 377 to help out open these doors that don't make sense how can you open this door then that how can you open that door on that side then open that door that don't make sense, does it? Surely you'd have to get off, come round, then open this side. So like, like there's doors there, don't it? Oh, I realised why I didn't get the uh, platinum medal in the 390 scenario. It's because I didn't uh, do the circuit breaker. On the 390, you got to do the uh, circuit breaker. Right, that's all still on. It's quite dark at this. Oh, it's getting really misty now, isn't it? That's got dark really quick. So we've got to go Wembley platform six. So let's put the key back in. Let's. Put some lights on. Uh, put the night lights on now. Ensure desk light on so we can see. Right, it's getting really foggy. No, we don't need the desk light on, do we? Or the timetable light, anyway. Put the desk light on now. Oh, we should have all set to go now. Make our way to Wembley Central Platform 6. 
This is dynamic weather for you, isn't it? Down to 15. And I'm going to have to drop down to 10. Drop down to 10 quick early there. And look how foggy it's got already. And make our way to Wembley Central, platform six. Once we get out the yard, we can open up and go bombard down to Wembley. Open up the throttle. Excuse me. I think they said it was like a 30 minute scenario, this, or 35 minute scenario. Oh, the fog has lifted. Oh, that's quick. Where did all that fog just go? That's the one thing about the weather. It changes too quickly. You know, the fog just disappeared. It should have gradually disappeared, just like it appeared out of nowhere. So, it's something DDG needs to work on, in my opinion. I mean, the dynamic weather is a good idea. And I do like it, but the change is too quick. It needs to be more gradual, like it would be in real life. I mean, yeah, I get with rain, you can get like a sudden downpour just like that. You get heavy rain just like that. That I understand. But with something like fog, and you've got the phlogometic fl fog or whatever it is, fog, phlogometic Phlogmatic fog, I can't say whatever the word is. Um, it should be gradual. It shouldn't just disappear like that because that's not how it works in real life. And it's something that they should be able to implement into Train Sim World, I think. Especially since we're on the fifth iteration of it, or technically the sixth, if you can if you count Train Sim 2020. A little bit of stutter in here, unfortunately. So passengers have already probably been said, you know, don't worry, there's an extra train get being created just to take you lot back to London. We'll probably be a fast back down, won't we? Just rest straight back down to London. To be honest, there doesn't seem that many people. I was expecting it to be a lot more crowded than this. They don't look like football fans to me. Still not seen any pendolinos go past. Can open the door as well. 
because even as the driver changes ends he would still open the door before doing all this yeah tail lights must be automatic the window is up Night lights are on now. Don't know why the marker lights are still on for. I'm sure I did turn them off, didn't I? Oh, there you go. That's how you do tail lights. Okay. Didn't realise it was just a simple button like that. Headlight like mic lights are off. That's off. So I don't know why that's still shining so bright like that. Maybe they'll go off later. Don't know what RGFC means. I thought these were collectibles here. Oh, let's collect. Collect the start scarfs. Obviously not then. I thought scarfs were collectibles. Marker lights are still on, even though I turned them off. So I don't understand that. So going straight down to London Euston at platform 5, 7.1 miles. I did turn them on. I turned them on. Oh no, because we're, we're now on the other train, aren't we? We attached another train on, didn't we? That's why. I've forgotten about that. I can get to 90 now. 
Where's confused on the HUD there? You got a 90 and you got a 75. Which one is for us? I'll drop down to 75 just for now. In case that 75 is for us. Yeah, it is. So I don't know what that 90 was for. Three point five miles in the three fifty. I get a reward for doing three hundred and fifty miles. Some three seven sevens that you can see coupled up in the three fifties in the yard. That's not the yard we were just in. We were on further up nearer to Wembley. Shame we can only go out to 75 and not do full 90. Good. Need to be good to do the 390 along here. I don't think we'll see any pendolinos. Of course, this was um, created without the pendolinos because the pendolinos are DLC. It's a shame that they can't add um Oh well, there's a station there, sorry. It's a shame they can't add DLC trains into scenarios. Cause that would give scenarios that replay re replayability factor. the scenarios with the trains that come with the route you think, okay yeah, that's fine done dusted and then you get a DLC and that train gets added in to the scenarios you think oh okay I'm going to play again to see where these trains pop up well, I would anyway See how I didn't get the Pendolino set. And I just got this on its own. I'll do all the scenarios because they're only 350 scenarios. And then you had the Pendolinos. 
and then you think oh I'll play the scenarios again just to see where the pendolinos pop up so we'll go via route B Now we're going via route A. Problems coming into Houston. Houston, we have a problem. So I need to come out of Ultra and go down to high settings. So Houston looks pretty empty without the 390s and the 710s. So now it says 15 miles per hour entering the station. Yet that doesn't come up on the speed monitor. That's that else DTG got wrong. No 390s, no 710s along here. Leaving Houston quite empty. A bit like Birmingham. Birmingham International looks quite empty. So, really, you should only be able to go 15 along here. I don't know why the alarm went off. Why it's not letting me go any further along here? You can go up to the buffers. I don't think it was the DRA that I was pressing, I think it just times itself out, don't it, I think. Okay, it seems it's just too bright in Houston. 
It's not this bright in real life. But, excuse me. Put the max break on. Take that off. And we'll just wait for the. Don't know what she's doing there. No one get on this train because we are going to be terminating here, obviously. And I'm guessing we won't be taking anyone back because it was a train just laid on for the footy fans, even though they didn't really look like footy fans. Being a scenario, you'd have thought they would have put special NPCs in, in like footy jerseys and footy jackets and that, just for that scenario. So it actually looked like footy fans at the station. Oh no, I need to put the key back in, don't I? Yeah. Now take key out. Thank you for completing this run. Let's see how you performed. <laughs> ah, platinum. I like the shoe. Now I've gone up to a level 3 in the class 350 slash 1. And a level 5 in the London, South London, Houston to Milton Keynes. I was playing it earlier because my daughter wanted to see it that's why the level looks different from the last video way up uh, we was on the London Overground going from Houston up to um, Watford so that was cool ignore the 60% off add more to your collection because time this video comes out the weekend sales would have ended I did treat myself to the diesel pack for London Paddington but I'll get that white on sale it's only seven pounds something so I've got that in time for the um, GWR remaster when it comes whenever it comes out I'm not sure when it comes out but it'll be coming out at some point later this year and I don't know if they're going to use the trains in the diesel pack as part of a rail tour or something but I thought well I've not had it and I'm sure that it will layer on onto other routes maybe but if they do use it as part of the remaster for rail tours or whatever at least I've got it then so yeah anyway we'll end, end the video here feel free to like comment and subscribe Hit that bell notification to get up to date with all future content. And I shall see you in the next one. Goodbye for now and take care.